we've scanned there a few weeks ago. We adult sheep 173 percent um, over everything average. Some of these ewes here, these lambs here were born. Um, mum actually had and raised two lambs inside last year, so we're at the stage there this year we'll be probably selling um, into our 2012 drop. These ewes here um, were, mum had the uh, 16th of February last year, she had a lamb. Um, we put um, the rams back in as soon as they were weaned, ten, we weaned them and 10 days after we, we joined the rams again. They were, these are November drops. The November drops um, weren't weaned um, until late uh, February, early March. We joined the first week in March. We joined those mothers again. We only put 1% rams back in there for six weeks and she wasn't doing all that well. But we joined the 500 ewes and we ended up with 12 dry. So she returned back and we're just totally amazed how uh, they weren't all that, all that good of order, but they still got, all got back pregnant, virtually you know, all bar 12 again pregnant. So uh, pretty, pretty exceptional uh, result for a lot of lambs in, in one, one 12 month period. We're happy with these sheep, um, the type of sheep they are, because we can run the ewes, we're not chasing flies all summer. The only, the only click we use, we use a little bit of clicks in on the um, lamb marking process. Um, but as far as the rest of the sheep go, we do not use any other blowfly treatment. We don't have to jet sheep. We might use five litres of blowfly and lice every four or five years. Yeah, you know, we don't use that much of it now. As, as it's gone by, um, I suppose when I left school, I did a fair bit of wool classing around for about eight years. Um, back in the 80s, it did rain more often, but these sheep, um, you've probably, you, you have, have forgotten what green wool, purpley coloured wool water stains like. There's, remember years ago that you'd have a line of water stain. We haven't seen, you haven't even hand picked a handful of water stain out of these type of sheep um, for years. I've gone back doing the classing now, but there's no, once these sheep are classed, um, there's only one, two lines of wool, and a lot of time there's no definition, enough definition in the second line really to be taking it out. You can really, nearly just put them all in there. Yeah, the odd fleece that's a complete throwback, you'd throw right out, but there's no more of this having, uh, running five lines in the shed. Um, it's really only two lines of wool. Um, long and shorter or bright and a bit duller. But yeah, you know, the clean fleece, clean fleece weight is uh, definitely there without all the, um, the uh, assorted oddment lines as it goes through with uh, water stain and 3B and that sort of stuff there. They're pretty much peas in the pod as they come across the table sort of thing.